Welcome to Framework Fortune Crypto and welcome back Framework Fortune community. I'm your host Ben and we're going to dive into one of my resources I've been using for my crypto swing trading, day trading, and long-term investing. The apps have some decent stuff, Voyager, Coinbase, but this site, CoinGecko, not a sponsor or affiliate, I just like the information they present. CoinGecko is a really good free resource to find out a lot of information. So we're going to dive into the site, check out some things, show you what's going on with CoinGecko, and if you want to check it out, there'll be a link in the description. But time is our most valuable asset, so let's not waste any more of it and dive right in. So when you come to the first page of CoinGecko, you're going to have a cryptocurrency prices by market cap. You'll have this little tab that's off there you can show the statistics if you want to toggle that on you can see the complete market capitalization the 24-hour trading volume uh, right there you got Bitcoin's market cap dominance 42% and then the number of coins that coin gecko is showing which is 8948 there's a lot of coins well you can click that off and then you can see you'll have this whole list of those 8,000 something coins that you can go through and check out I'm not gonna keep going through all of those but you can see this is the ranking by market cap over here with the rankings one being Bitcoin of course and then Ethereum being number two and they give you the price and give you the one hour percent change 24 hour seven day they also give you the 24 hour volume in US dollars which is nice for me I transitioned from just trading stocks to trading cryptos as well so it's a little bit complicated to try to figure out what the 24-hour volume is on coinbase pro when they put it in the cryptocurrency denomination so for day trading cryptos this is great to see where the volume is where's the most volume today of course bitcoin and ethereum their largest market cap so they're going to get a ton of volume but looking down here at some of these other coins these altcoins you can see where there's some hotness maybe at like Cardano's had 2 billion, almost 3 billion in 24 hour volume. So you know that one's pretty volatile, which we saw. It ran all the way up to 225, has now pulled back down below 2 uh, in a span of about 12 to 15 hours. And then it gives you a little chart here too that you can look at and the market cap. So that's very nice. Now, that's not all. If you click on this, you can sort by whatever you want to sort these by. So if you want to sort by 24 hour volume, you can see right there to see where the highest volume is instead of having to scroll through them all you can also sort it by the market cap and you can sort it by the charts and sort it by the seven day percent gain we can see whatever this is audius is up 132 percent so interesting altcoin there and then of course terra luna if you've been following me we know that bad boy is up 83%. Nice volume, almost 2 billion in volume in the past 24 hours. And then you also have filters, so you can do it by the platforms. If you want to just look at what's on Coinbase or whatever platform you're using, you can. And then they have the hashing algorithms, which I'm not as adept in, so I would not really be using that. But if you do use that, you can find that. And of course, if you're not in the USD and you want to change the currency to Euro or wherever your currency is, you can change the currencies to read that for you. And then you have this all categories where it gives you a whole lot of different options you can check into. Like there's an NFT index. That's pretty nice. So you can see top NFT index coins by market capitalization. Now you see these little stars behind these. This is where you can add these to your watch list on CoinGecko. So if we want to add the Metaverse Index, you can add that to my portfolio. You can also just create another new portfolio and then click on Portfolio. And there you go. You see I got the Metaverse Index connected there. And it does look like there is a way to connect your other wallets to CoinGecko to actually see your portfolio, to see your uh, total balance and total profit loss. Say if you use multiple apps and you want to keep track of all your buys and sells, then you would just go to that add transaction button and you'd be able to manually put them in 
and that transaction button is right here at little add transaction and then you can go to view transaction with the little arrow and it will show you but since I did not add a transaction it's not going to show me there but we'll add one we'll just make something up so we'll say that's the we'll say we got storm X at two cents which is about what I've got it at and I've got what we'll just it's somewhere around eight thousand so we'll just put eight thousand storm X about hundred and sixty dollars so we'll submit that so now we got the transaction in there and you can see I'm up seventy dollars on that eight thousand storm X so you could fill out all your positions and add this portfolio now before we go on I want to show right here you can see a little bit of statistics you can see the ether gas right now you can see the dominance of Bitcoin and Ether right here on this little line, the 24 hour volume, the market cap, the exchanges and the coins. And of course you can click on these to get to these exchanges and stuff. Well, this portfolio is a neat little thing if you're using a bunch of apps like I am. Now we looked at those filters. You can also look by recently added. So if there's any new coins, you see last added six hours ago, super rare, whatever that is, it's on Ethereum, tells you the chain it's on and all that information. And then you can also look at large movers so we got truster coin here it looks like it has moved a lot that looks like hundred and fifty thousand percent that's a pretty insane move and then looks like eighty one thousand percent on pitbull you can search the top gainers here and the top losers in this large mover category that will help also with day trading and swing trading you can click on categories here it's going to give you stable coins exchange based tokens uh, pretty much everything you can think of to do research so very nice all the different uh, types of coins like privacy coins storage gaming wrap tokens a uh, yearn ecosystem derivatives master nodes pretty much anything you can think of uh, you'll be able to find it there even gambling so again a lot more information than the little apps I mean we're not even through the first bit but you can add a custom tab too and change it to however you want to now if you go up here to coins you can also find market cap rank down to categories and then there's a discover button so you can see the most searched the trending searched right now the most voted on coins the ones with positive sentiment so right now tron and polygon has positive sentiment that's pretty nice to know and we know that exceed me apparently is being searched quite a bit it's trending and then they've got the top 100 coins by trading volume so another way you can find those movers and then we can go into the derivatives perpetuals so this is going to be futures and then they have a category just two futures and then we got leveraged ETFs as well that you can get in. So if you don't know what an ETF is, if you're new to crypto or investing, an ETF in the stock market is a basket of stocks. So multiple stocks that you can get exposure to uh, at a cheaper price than buying some of those stocks. So same thing with cryptos. It's just a basket of cryptos. So you might not afford to be able to buy a whole Bitcoin because of how, pri how high the price is. But you might be able to find an ETF that is invested in Bitcoin to be able to get that exposure to Bitcoin without actually paying the high premium for a Bitcoin. So it's a nice way to diversify and shrink your risk some because if you've got some good coins across the board in that basket, in that ETF, then you're going to have less risk. And of course, if the market drops, the whole ETF is going to drop. That is always a risk and the volatility in cryptos makes that a constant risk but in the long term they have been going up so if the spy and you know dia those etfs in the stock market have been going up over time then more than likely as more people adopt cryptos these etfs will climb over time too but you do want to make sure you're getting into a solid etf and that's on a solid project and you're not buying some nonsense and that can help you as you can see the number one leveraged ETF by trading volume is buy on so 41 million dollars has went into it in the past 24 hours so there's some money there so that would probably be a decently safe one so then you can go to exchanges and you can click spot and it'll show you all the exchanges that they've got the number of coins that they have the number of pairs that they have and then the trust score and then their normalized 24 hour volume the recent 24 hour volume and then visits to the exchanges you so you can compare your exchanges uh, against other exchanges 
to see, oh, maybe I want to try this out or maybe this is a better one. And then when you click on them, it's going to take you to that exchange and show you every single coin or trading pair that is on the exchange. And then you can look through all of this. They've got ETFs there and then you've got the about so you can find the fees. You can find out about this exchange. You can see if they've got margin trading. You know, you get all this information here and you can continue on. You see statistics see where their volume is at and you actually get the charts here for the exchange traded volume to see how it's been performing you can even go to one year to see if they've been growing and then we can go to dex and these are the decentralized exchanges so coinbase of course is not going to be on here things like that these are decentralized you have to connect your wallet directly to them to be able to trade but you can get all the information on those and compare those to the centralized ones and see which ones you like better. After that, you can click on DeFi and you can get the top 100 DeFi coins. So you can check those out and see the overall value and charts of the DeFi market. And you see number one is Uniswap, very nice. Now if you click on NFT, you'll see coins and you see the NFT of the day, which is a derpy bird, I guess. Hey, people not going to knock what people pay for. If they want to pay for a Derpy Bird NFT, you go right ahead. But then we go down here and we can see the top 100 NFT coins market capitalization. You got Theta at the top and then Axie Infinity right behind it. And then you have all that same information again. They do have this new NFT spotlight. So you can check out some of these artists that they're putting on Spotlight. Of course, that's probably going to make those NFTs from these artists a little bit more valuable as it may cause some demand because they're getting a little bit of fame there. Then you have the portfolio button to get back to your portfolio. And now you got publications. So they got a lot of stuff here that can help you out. They got crypto reports, newsletter, a podcast, blog, they got books. They've got guides, they've got a glossary, that glossary would be really nice. So you can learn all the different jargon that has to do with crypto. It basically is a whole nother language. And then they actually have a resource tab and you can go to earn crypto. It's got a calculator to see how much crypto you can earn depending on how much you deposit and what crypto it is. You just click on that right there to show you the different coins. So let's look at Bitfinex, they got a 1.39. So if we put in $100, you can see there after a month it would be about 12 cents after a year 40 cents that would be added uh, after 10 years you would gain about 14 15 dollars so you can make a plan with your interest of where you want to put these coins where you want to stake them at to try to maximize that interest potential and then you can learn about yield farming and the top yield farming pools by value locked right there sushi's number one click on impermanent loss calculator you can calculate out the impermanent loss you got an apy calculator again so you can check out what your returns are going to be but they also give you a list of all these different pools so you can compare coins and, and do side by side comparisons you can explore all the coins again Right there, we've got Bitcoin and Ethereum that we're comparing. We can change those out. We can compare Bitcoin to StormX, and then we can compare those two side by side. So you can see the prices, the trading volume, the available supply, everything you need to see to compare your investments. And then you even get price charts of Bitcoin versus uh, StormX to see which one is performing better. So that's a little nifty tool to have. And then public company treasuries. You can see the Bitcoin holdings by companies. Tesla's got some. MicroStrategies, Galaxy Digital, uh, Square. And that's pretty good for the stock market. If you're a stock trader, you can find out some crypto companies to invest in. So very good information for stock investors and crypto investors and you can do the same thing and look what companies own ethereum then you can see in the news and you can get beam updates and the latest news they do have some products for sale they have a premium subscription i don't know if you need it really they have a mobile app so you can download it on your phone and have all the info to go they have a store but they just sell like some self-help books and things like that and then there's some developer stuff here, Crypto API. You can add your own widget to the site. They have some different widgets, a REST request form, a methodology, and then they got their community tab where you got all of that, where you can join the communities. Now right here along this little line here, 
You can change the language there if you need to change the language. You can change the currency right there as well. I have a help button. And if you log in, you'll have this little account details and you can earn candies. So you can see that you can collect candies on CoinGecko every day that you log on to the mobile web app. And I'm sure there are other ways to earn these candies. But if you look at rewards, you can see you can exchange these candies for some of the stuff and including the books that they sell in their store. But there's some other stuff on here like 20% off of Delphi Digital, 50% uh, off of Global Data Plans from Flexarome, 25% uh, 20 off Benzinga. So I'm sure they'll continue to add this right there's another one for ExpressVPN. So plenty of different things you can trade your candies for. So that's a neat little thing to have on a website. And if you click this right here you can change the background to dark if you don't want to look at the bright screen. I always like mine on dark. I didn't notice that earlier I would have had it on there. But you can check your subscription. They do have multiple pricing plans and here are their different plans. So the free is what I'm using. You get the live prices, charts, and historical data. You can redeem the daily candies. You can track your portfolio and you get access to the app. If you do want to pay for it, uh, $4 a month, which this is an annual payment, saves you more money if you buy the subscription up front. $50 a year, you get everything in free plus no ads more candies and then exclusive coin gecko premium nft whether that nft is going to be worth anything who knows but you know they're throwing a little something in there for you and then you have the premium plus you get everything in free plus you get the no ads weekly farm watch so they deliver the spices yield farms right to your inbox even more candies you get the nft get access to their publications, their DeFi series and Bitcoin book and more. You also get private chat group with CoinGecko's research analyst. Then you can get early access to new features when they first released them. Of course, they have the FAQs here. They pretty much take anything it looks like. They take Stripe for most payments, credit cards, all of that. And then you can pay through cryptocurrency, but you have to be an annual subscription plan to pay for that and then you could read the rest of this FAQ and see what they got going on there so I'm still exploring around looking at the site but this is definitely a site that I do like a lot of good information so if you're looking for some more information that you can't find on these cryptos check out CoinGecko let me know your thoughts about CoinGecko down in the comments below appreciate everybody joining me as always stay safe out there until next time